Guys, the chickens here bringing you another Boobich video. In today's video, guys, very excited because we are going to be going over uh, probably the most important decision that you guys are going to have to make if you haven't already made it at uh, five to six engines between that area. And that is going to be, are you going with shock bombs or are you going with true pelt? Because they're both important and they're both on the way to the most important uh, unlock after five uh, ERs and that's going to be bombardiers. So... We essentially have the path ma mapped out for you perfectly now, guys. So you want to go from uh, the fifth engine immediately to building health. Unlock that. Max it out before uh, you go to five engines, for sure. Before, I just mean unlock it all at the same time. Uh, and then you want to go warriors. Don't upgrade the warriors. We're not going to be using them. Uh, you want to go to troop health. Max that out. Then bombers. Max those out. Then back to shock bombs. Uh, I don't know if you have to max them out, but at least give them like rank three or something where they're pretty good. Uh, and then we're going to go to six engines, guys. That's how we're that's how we're going to run things. So, uh, let's get a quick screen grab here. And then let's unlock uh, Troop Health. And we're going to max this bad boy out. Now, I still have 800k. Uh, I'm probably going to go back and max out, uh, where are they? The rocket launchers at some point. Uh, they're just expensive. And um, they, uh, it'll probably take us to get to diamond first before I do that. So let's just uh, let's just play around with the troop health. See if we made the right decision. See if we made the wrong decision. And uh, you know what's never a wrong decision, guys, is using the code chicken in the shop uh, for your endless reserves or any sort of boom beach purchases. Um, there's something cool that I found in the settings that I'll show you a little bit later. Nothing to do with the code, but just I appreciate you guys using it. So uh, let's go like this: one, two, three, four. <clears throat> now I'm using brick. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just because when you drop heavies and you battle orders. I find that at 5 engines, it's definitely turned into more of a base race than it was at 4 engines. 4 engines was kind of up in the air whether you were going to take the base down or not. Uh, I find 5 is a little bit more of um, who's going to get through this the fastest. So that's kind of why that's kind of why I brought Brick on. And I mean, we'll get through this part here. And then we'll go right up through the gut here. Let's actually use Battle Orders there just for speed to get everyone out in front of those rock choppers so what just happened doesn't happen again. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll go up like this. Okay, we're looking alright. Now let's start to flare on these engines. This is an interesting base. Um, he's got everything pretty well protected here in the center. And let's go critters there. Now, I'm not sure what to do from here, guys, if we should just flare that last engine or uh, what the play is, to be honest. I think we'll take out some of the single target stuff, uh, let the heavy spread out, and hope that our rocket choppers get in a decent spot. Because, I don't know, right now it's not looking too it's not looking too hot. This is a weird base. This threw, this threw us off for sure. Um, I should probably... I should probably just get them out of there. You know what? Let's just go right out of this. And try to get them over here. My heavies are stuck. They're not flaring. Okay. Let's flare them up this way then. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just on like damage control. Uh, okay. I just want... I want the heavies to go up this way please. But something's going to target the rocket chopper and it's going to go down right away, unfortunately. Oh, that was oh, that was terrible. <clears throat> that was bad and it was all over the place. And I don't know what happened there, guys. I haven't seen a base like that just yet. Um, I haven't played around in five years too much. But um, from what I've seen, they're, they're, um, it's typically three engines are spread, two are clustered. It's not like that where there's a ton of stuff in the middle. Uh, let's see how GKR is doing on our base. Looks like he's going to get the full clear. That's okay. Not concerned about that, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get right back into it and see if that troop health can help us out. Okay, this is a little bit better, I think. Um, at least we know what we got to do here. So I'm going to bring in Everspark. Actually, I'm going to bring in Kavon with the second win. I don't know what we were doing. We've unlocked Kavon, so we should be using him. Uh, so let's go one, two, three, four. The good doctor in the back. One, two, three, four rocketers uh, right over there. One, two, three barrage on that shock launcher that might take it out. I didn't check this guy's building health. Okay, it looks like this guy does not have 150% building health, so that's going to be uh, a bonus for us. 
Second win is going to be able to bring back some of the fallen heavies that come out of the rocket chopper. So <clears throat> we'll get uh, we'll get some pretty good value out of that. Um, I'll wait for a few of them to die first before we start to really spam it. But uh, I think we're going to go ahead and use it now. One, two. Okay. I see some Johnson, so we might jump the gun a little bit there, but that's okay. That is okay, guys. As soon as the flamethrower locks on. Okay, we're going critters on the flamethrower. Oh, we lost Kavon. No, the good doctor. The good doctor goes down. Right at the time where we needed him the most. Kavon, we needed you the most, my friend. Now, you are just dust. He's just dust. It's a sad day, guys. It's a sad day for the good doctor. Uh, couple barrage in there, soften up those boomers. The hot pot seems locked, so I think critters might get some good chip on that boom cannon. Oh, they did take it down! Wow, go critters! Okay, we'll critter that boom cannon. Gotta be careful. Let's just flare now. The critters are doing some work on that left engine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Opponent has retreated. That's what we like to see, guys. That's what we like to see. That is going to net us uh, with the victory. Flexed on him a little bit. Just a little bit with that troop health. Did seem to help there. I mean, the heavy choppers, you know, they really hung around for a long time. The first attack, I think I, you know, just, you know. I think that was the chicken's fault. I was just sitting in the middle of everything for too long uh, without much of a plan. But that's okay. It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. So we go up one, we go back one, we go up one, we go back one. we got to get to Diamond. Uh, the whole point of, um, you know, the whole objective of right now is just to simply get to Diamond as quickly as possible. So uh, that is what we are going to be trying to do. And we got the good doctor with us, guys. I'm excited about that. Also, the side note, uh, the chicken, um, I got some uh, workout equipment <clears throat> today. I didn't pick it up. I ordered it online. I was able to... Um, to get through to Rogue, so pretty excited about that. Uh, no longer going to be gymless, so. Because, yeah, everything shut down. And uh, I don't know uh, about where you guys are from. I'm sure most of you are probably in the States. Um, if so, you know, stay safe. I hope nobody's in New York. Uh, apparently, that's the worst spot, but um, where's I going with that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's bad, man. It's bad. It seems to be getting worse. Yeah, they said today, uh, what I was saying, um, that our current, like, kind of lockdown procedures, recommendations, it's not mandated, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, are going to stay until the fall. Now, the only thing I know that they're doing to actually enforce it in Canada is you get fines if you go to, like, public areas, like if you go to a park or something, um, and you're not just by yourself and you're with people, then you can get, like, an $800 fine, I think. Um, which is pretty crazy. Some people are upset about it. I think it's good, you know. Let's try to squash this as early as we can, uh, in my opinion. But you know, you know, everyone's got to uh, everyone's got to do their part. So it's tough. It's tough to get a whole nation on 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 one page for sure. But um, I don't know. You know, the chicken's not the uh, the prime minister or the president. So we'll leave that to the powers that be. And we'll focus on warships, on what we can focus on, right? So we got two engines, three engines. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go make it zero engines. And there we go. Ba -ba -ba Boom. Man. Crushing it. Yeah, so I think the first attack was just uh, the chicken's here. And I think the troop health. I think the troop health's the way to go, man. I really do. You know, I wasn't sure before. Because, <clears throat> you know, we're using heavy choppers. And it's like... Uh, when you use the torchers, do you need a ton of troop health? Not really. You can kind of lean towards other things because they already have a ton of troop health. And heavy choppers are essentially just a flank scorcher. But um, it helps other things too. It helps heavies. It helps rocket choppers, which don't have much health at all. Um, so for those things, it's going to be... Um, it's, it's just going to make everything that much more valuable. Make your troops harder to, uh, to come down. And it's like an immediate counter to the amount of building health that your opponent has, which is now... You know, at five engines, it's becoming more plentiful. So, uh, yeah, you want to take that into account as well. Uh, it looks like Mr. Maximus is probably going to take us down. I think all I used to do is flare to the left here after he takes down. 
uh, these couple engines, but the whole the whole design of the space is not to defend 100%. It's just to slow them down, right? Because like we said at the beginning of the video, it's becoming more of a base race at five engines than I think what we've seen at four engines or even earlier on in the season. Um, but, you know, I kind of like it. You know, there's a lot of variance to it. Sure, it is a base race, but it's not just dumb uh, flaring heavy choppers. You got to, you know, you got to think. You got to move your defenses in the right spot. You got to have the right prototypes. You got to have the right, um, you got to have the right hero. That definitely helps. Uh, I think Kavon has definitely surpassed Everspark at this point as the best hero uh, in Season 9. Just simply because of the second win and being able to regen, uh, regen or whatever you want to call it, more heavies. The uh, galvanizing presence also of Kavon, he's worth upgrading just for that. So any troops that he heals, how does that work? Any troops that he heals uh, kind of like uh, mitigates some of the damage that they take in. So it's one of those things that's like really uh, worth it over like the, the duration of the battle. But! Uh, that aside, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for the video today. I hope that helped you out. Let me know how you guys are making out on warships. Uh, I just got all these upgrades. I got to push now. I got to push soon to get up to, uh, attempt to get up to diamond rank at least. And, uh, we'll go from there. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone using the code check in the shop. Send me a screenshot on Twitter or in the, uh, Discord channel. And we'll get you entered into that giveaway. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, check it out. Back, back.